Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 922. Okay, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to do two-way lookup where we first look up a row, then we look up a value within that row that was just looked up in order to return the column header. So here the, here's the situation. We have lookup value number one. These are number of items in the family. So we actually have to take this number, look it up, find the position. So if I'm doing this example here, I look up the four. That first lookup will determine this row. Then within that row, we need to look up our second lookup value, this 390 bucks. This is income. We need to look at this up here, and this is an approximate match. So it would find the next biggest one and jump back. That one, two, three, fourth position from our second lookup would then tell us which item from the column headers to return to the cell. Right, so that's how you do it manually. Right? Two-way lookup. The kind of twist here is that, yeah, we have to learn how to look up an entire row, get that row, and then do a lookup within it. All right, I'm going to start right here just for kicks and see if I can just look up that row. Well, index and match are perfect for this. Index can do a two-way lookup or a one-way lookup. It can return single values or it can return entire rows or columns. So our array, that means the values to look up. Remember, we're looking up a row here. So the actual values to return is the entire two-way uh, two table. I'm going to hit the F4 key, comma. Now, the row number. The row number is going to come from this first lookup value, number four, right? That's going to determine which row within this table. So I'm going to do for row number match. Now match is a lookup function that can look up a value. Here it's going to be this 4. And it will return the position. Notice if we look up 4 here, 1, 2, 3, match returns the position, the relative position of the item. All right, so there's our lookup value, comma, lookup array. And I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it. Now, this is an approximate match, which means it'll look up this 4, bump in, race down as, as a metaphor. It bumps into the first bigger one and jumps back. That's a way to understand how this match function determines the position. The default is that approximate match, so I'm going to leave that off. Right? That's going to determine the row number. And actually, if we highlight this and hit the F9 key to evaluate, you can see, sure enough, 1, 2, 3. Control Z to undo that. That's the row number. Comma. Now index usually is will also ask for a column number. So for example, if I typed a three here, it would know this is the third row, one to the third column. But guess what? We really want all the columns. One, two, three, four, five. So you just leave it empty. You can either put a zero or leave that argument empty, and it tells the index function give me all the columns. So I'm going to close parentheses. Now I'm going to highlight this, because if I enter this, it's got a percentage first off. It's going to return just the first value, because you can't store multiple values in a, or display multiple values in a cell like that. So I'm going to highlight this and hit F9 in edit mode to prove to myself that it actually did look up the entire row, F9. And there it did. It looked up the entire row. Control-Z. We don't want that now. Notice that's returning a row or a range of values. Actually, it's returning an array of values. Now, within that array of values, we need to look up, because right now it's returning there. We need to look up this value. So that's delivering an array of values. We use that inside of match with our second lookup value. Our second lookup value is going to be 390, comma, and there we already have our lookup array, which in essence was our first lookup to look up the row. This also is going to be an approximate match, so we simply close parentheses. Now, right now, this should give us a position, 1, 2, 3, 4. So when I highlight this and hit the F9, a 4. And where is the percentage? 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, control Z. So this whole thing is just delivering now the position of the item in that range. So we use index one more time. 
the array percentages and F4 to lock it. That's the array. Comma. Now this says row number. And notice we have column numbers here. But anytime you have a one-way lookup array in that argument, which one-way means multiple columns but only one row, or it could be the reverse of that, multiple rows but only one column. But anytime this array is just one way, that row number serves as either row or column. In essence, it's looking up the relative position. And that formula will work right there. Simply enter. Now I can copy it down and up. Check it right here. Looks like it's looking at the correct uh, numbers. So there we have it, a two-way lookup formula where we have to look up a row first and then a value within that row and return a value from the column headers. See you next video.